children class a motorcycle and they're not wearing the proper protective equipment. This is the proper protective equipment. A helmet, leather clothing, leather boots, and then the gloves. So, before riding, perform a walk around. Check your bike, your helmet, your equipment, and make sure you're wearing the proper gear. Uh, CDC states that wearing a helmet protects you 37% more than not wearing a helmet. It also uh, reduces serious head injury by 69%. 32% um, of motorcyclists and crashes were caused by other injuries in other vehicles. Um, in 2017, the NHSTA, which is these two guys, uh, in 2019, 5,014 motorcyclists died. Um, the number of motorcycle injury crashes in the United States from 1995 to 2015, it slowly increased up to 2007, which was a total of 98 deaths, and then it slowly decreased and then increased in 2012, and has been consistent since then. Um, let's see here. In 2012, about 112,000 motorcyclists were killed in crashes. Uh, 60 out of every 100,000 registered motorcyclists was involved in a fatal crash, compared with only 14 out of every 100,000 passenger cars. Motorcyclists were about 26%, 26 times more likely than passenger car occupants to die in a crash per vehicle mile traveled. Um, motorcyclists were also five times more likely to be injured in a crash. Uh, Kaufman and Stigger Insurance Company, they stated that Mississippi has the highest and most dangerous motorcyclist state. Uh, the ages of motorcyclists, the fatality, the highest is 50 and above, which ended in about 2000, and then under 30 is the second highest, which was about 1500. Um, the time and day also affects motorcyclists, obviously between 3 p.m. and 9 p.m. Uh, it is higher, but between 3 p.m. and 6 p.m. during the weekday is the highest. Uh, light conditions for motorcyclists is also effective. And then the national motorcycle fatality between 2014 and 2018 is at highest between 2016 and 2017. Uh, 2018, 1,464 motorcycle collisions on local roads happened. 88 people in Kentucky lost their lives in motorcycle crashes, and 933 suffered an injury. Um, let's see here. So, we do have a saying for motorcyclists, it's, there's a life riding on, it always says, look twice, and then look again after, because... You never know when a motorcyclist is going to come. Uh, in Nebraska, there's the motorcycle fatalities versus registration. Uh, let's see here. Uh, it's about 55,500 that are fatalities, and then just about 50,500 that are registered. Um, these are a bunch of motorcycle signs that if you see one riding down the road, they stick their hand out or they point up. It's to the signal that they're rather turning or if they're in a group that they could have someone follow them or pull off onto like an exit. They also have a signal for police. Uh, they have one for fuel. Uh, uh, most motorcyclists that ride in groups, as seen here, they ride in like two sides. So they have the one file and then the double file. Uh, they have a sign for single file, so they're one, the, you know, the one file down the road or double file. Um, this is the motorcycle formations for like regular riding if you're in like a gang. Um, they have the president and the vice president at the top. And then toward the back, you have your uh, other riders, and then there's a car right there. Uh, and then they have special events with the road captain and then the other people. Um, and that one, that picture right there is from Jonathan Taylor. 
He posted that June 27th of 2016. And then this one is also from an insurance company. They have other uh, information of like death, uh, disabling injury, visible but not disabling injury, and then possible injury. And then property damage. Uh, death is the highest percent at 72. And then the 10 things that save the day for motorcycle riders. One is your brain. Obviously use your brain when riding. Uh, helmet to protect it, riding gloves, eye protection, armor, uh, riding boots, riding jacket, long pants, a waterproof riding gear, and then of course your riding training class. Um, let's see here. 1974 motorcycle safety course began, which brings it back into here and you have to have the course to get your license or you can't ride. Uh, and January 1st of 1986, they did a proof of insurance. So if you get into an accident, you have to show insurance. If not, your motorcycle will be totaled and you will have lots of damage and taxes. Uh, and January 1st of 1989, Nebraska's helmet law became effect. And there are, like I said, 12 states that have 18 and under where you don't have to wear, or you have to wear a helmet and then above that, and then there's three states that do not require them at all. And uh, basically motorcycle safety is important because of the stats that show how many fatalities there are and how many people have lost their lives because of motorcycles. And I think that helmet law should become a fact for everybody. But yeah.